So today I did something that I don't do every day. I delivered a proposal to a brand new prospect who's gonna become a new client. And I always share this distinction that I make with new clients at the beginning of our relationship, usually like in the proposal phase. And it's one that I think is really important. We're gonna talk about it today. It's the difference between sacred cows and codependency. Exciting stuff. <laughs> All right, everybody pretty much knows what a sacred cow is, but they they also tend to like throw people. People are not sacred cows. Sacred cows are ideas or concepts that are beyond criticism. And I guess you could say that you have people that are beyond criticism, but I draw a very bright line between people and things when it comes to sacred cows. So what I told this client was, if there are any sacred cows, I need to know about them right now. Like if you have this particular software system that you're absolutely married to, we just spent $100,000 on it and we're not getting rid of it no matter what, then I need to know that because if I want to change some stuff to get us where we want to go and I can't change the software, that means it's more, it's more difficult for me, it's going to take longer, it's going to cost more, all that stuff. And sacred cows are okay, every business has a couple of them, but we have to know what they are before we really get involved and get too far down the road, and sometimes even before we price the work. But sacred cows are things, not people. But codependency is all about people. We need to know if you have some people in your organization that you have built codependent relationships with. And these are people that their performance suffers, they're not quite meeting it, they screw up time and time again, but you either don't hold them accountable or you do hold them accountable and there's never a change. And for whatever reason, they get deemed as irreplaceable. I use the word codependency very intentionally because it has a very negative connotation and usually it should. If there are people in your organization on your team whom you have built codependent relationships on, you need to come to terms with the fact that not only is this bad for you, you typically know that because I hear you griping about it all the time when we work together, but it's also bad for that person. Codependency is not healthy. The truth is, if you were to make a change, maybe in the end result, just let the person go, their life is probably gonna get better. And yes, there's gonna be a short-term dip and times are gonna be hard and they're gonna have to come to grips with the reason that you let them go and the reason that they weren't measuring up and they're gonna have to change that about themselves. But my experience is that they usually do. It's like a wake-up call. But at the very least, you know, sometimes you will start to hold them accountable and they will make the change. And I have business owners telling me, I can't believe that we lived with this for five years or six years or 10 years. And over the course of just a few weeks or a month, there was this drastic turnaround because we finally just said, look, this isn't going to work unless some things change. So identifying sacred cows is very important because they can dictate how expensive change is going to be. And identifying codependent relationships is very important because if those exist in the context of a lot of change, it's gonna be very disruptive. And usually these are the people who kind of spoil it for everybody else. Like the, the initiative fails, it goes down in flames because one person digs in their heels and just isn't gonna change. And the business ownership or the management doesn't have the guts or isn't willing to break that codependency cycle to move things forward. So identifying the two is very important. And if nothing else, you have something interesting to talk about the next time somebody brings up that overused sacred cows idiom. See you guys tomorrow. I delivered a... <clears throat>